Hello everyone, welcome to the Serger Basics Workshop with Butcher Sew Shop. My name's Andrea. I'm gonna be walking you through how to use the Brother 1034D Serger Machine. So in this workshop, I'm gonna cover how to get this set up, how to thread it properly, how to change all the settings for different functions, how to change the needles and the presser feet, some basic troubleshooting and maintenance, and also I'll walk you through some common techniques that you'll be using the serger for, such as hemming, attaching elastic, serging in the round, and serging knit fabrics versus woven fabrics. So by the end of this, you'll feel comfortable threading it, sometimes that's the scariest part, and using it for different purposes. So this is really a beginner level workshop. It covers just the basics of the serger. If you wanna up your serger game, you can do a lot of decorative embellishments with it using some fancy threads and things like that. But I'm really gonna show you just how to use the serger for functional projects such as garments and maybe some basic home decor so that you'll be able to get started on some of those projects right after this. So maybe you don't even have a serger at home and that's okay, you can still follow along and see if it's worth the investment or not, which I definitely think it is. So if you have your own at home, you can follow along with all the exercises that I'll be walking you through. So we use the Brother 1034D because it's one of the most popular models of sergers for home sewers. So there are other sergers out there at a similar price point, different brands such as Singer and Janome. They all have very similar functionality, but um, I'm gonna be using this one just because it's the most accessible one. You can find it in a lot of big box retailers. It's usually under $200, and you can find a lot of the replacement parts pretty easily. So if your bulb burns out or your knife starts to get dull, it's really easy to replace those parts yourself so you can extend the life of your serger. And it's one of the most user-friendly models that I've come across. So there are really high-end sergers out there that do a lot more. There are even computerized sergers, but this is just a mechanical model with just the basics. So that's what most people end up going for. So if you have your own serger, pull that out and all its accessories. And you'll also need some thread. So if your serger is right out of the box, it probably came with these tiny little spools of different colors of thread. So these don't last you very long. They'll probably run out very quickly. So I recommend switching to a larger spool of thread. You can just use whatever you use on your regular sewing machine. Or if you have the larger cones of thread, you can switch to those as well. So I like using different colors of thread in my serger just for teaching sake. It's just a lot easier to read your stitches so you can know if there are any attention adjustments that are needed. But it's not required if you don't have multiple colors of thread for your serger. And you'll definitely need some scrap fabric. So I like using just white muslin. It's easy to see your stitches and see what's going on and it's nice and stable so you're not going to be fighting the fabric the whole time. I will be showing you how to serge knits in this workshop as well, which are stretchy fabrics. So if you have some of that at home, you can try it out with me. If not, that's okay too. You'll just still know the serger settings that you need to make the make it work with the knit fabric. All right. And I also have given you a little reference sheet so it has the charts with the different settings you need for the different stitches so you don't have to write everything down yourself. You can print this out if you want to take notes or just refer to it on your computer and just know that you have it so that once you're done with me here you'll still be able to refer to this pretty easily. All right so let's get started with this workshop.